Cena's Corner. What's going on, guys? All right, today we're going to take a look at Screenium, which is screencasting software by the makers of Cineum Software here. As you can see, not only do they do Screenium, but they also do a host of other software. But today we're going to concentrate on their software by the name of Screenium for screencasting. So let's go and take a look at that. First of all, when you launch Screenium, you get this screen here, which gives you all of the options of what you can do in Screenium. So you have four different ways to capture. You have fixed area, full screen, mouse area, and single window. If you click on fixed area, what you get is you get a window where you can move around and it's just going to capture that area. If you look at the X and the Y positions I move it, it does change all on its own or you can change that yourself. You can also change the width and the height um, of that. You see how you can see dimension preset user defined or you can set it by one of the presets that's already here, okay? The other way is going to be full screen, which basically sounds exactly what it is. Like you see here, it just captures the whole entire screen. Your mouse area, the same way you pick a spot on your screen and it's controlled by just the mouse. Um, and then there's also the single window. So let me kind of show you how that goes. If I have another window that's open, say like this one, and I click on single window, it will find the window and then it will ask me if I wish to record that particular window with Screenium. And I'll say yes, it'll give me a countdown and then it'll start recording just that area of my screen, okay? Uh, other features of this also is you do have, full, um, so let's look at the video, I'm sorry. First of all, uh, you have the source. So it shows you your iMac, it shows you the resolution and the bit rate or the bit of it. Uh, the compression mode, it shows you what you have. For, right now we have losses via 25 frames per, uh, per second. Uh, you can go up to 60 or you can customize. If you're doing YouTube, you want to stay at the 25 frame rates per second because YouTube doesn't understand anything, I think, above 30. <clears throat> also, you have uh, scaling. You can do scaling on the fly. Okay, so you can scale it 100%, 75, 50, 25, whatever you wish to do that. Also, you have the opposite of hiding uh, the desktop background or you can hide the desktop icons. If you hide the desktop backgrounds and you can fill that in with a color, um, of this choice from this from this grid over here in the left. All of these colors are the colors that are available on Mac OS 10 at this point. Um, or if you have icons on your desk, uh, sorry for that, you can actually go ahead and you can click hide desktop icons as well. The next part of that would be your audio, which it will pick up every audio um, solution you have in your Mac. So in my case, you have just the regular system audio for Screenium. I have built-in microphone, you have built-in input, you have the, uh, and then my DRBT 101s, which is some Bluetooth Sony he um, headphones, wireless headphones. Okay, so I can use any of those. Camera, um, you can, if you have any other cameras hooked up to your iMac, you can go ahead and do search for cameras, and it will search and find all of them, or you can go with what I have, the built-in iSight. If you click to activate the camera, uh, it will actually turn on your iSight, as you can see me right down here, in this corner right here, and then you decide what you want to do with that. Either you want to keep that on small, you want to blow that up a little bit uh, medium, you want to blow it up larger than that, okay, or you just want to keep it where it is. You can flip it horizontally, you can flip it vertically, um, and then you can actually control the opacity of that as well if you want to do that as well, okay? So that's if you want to activate the camera. And your mouse, you control that as well. Visualize mouse clicks means that it show uh, for my left mouse, blue. For my right, red. The display button names, um, it'll do that. So it'll show me what the, the names of the buttons are. I could change the font color of that. Um, so total control over your mouse. Hot text is uh, exactly what it sounds. So you type in this box what you want to put up here, and then you would hit a key, and then the key will actually display the test. So in this case, I have Cinium software set up uh, to do Shift-C. Uh, so once once we start using Screenium, if I was to hit Shift C, then this will come across in my webcast. If I want to order, uh, do a new one, I can just put uh, new hot text, and then uh, I can go ahead and just fill that in. So we'll just put in, type in Cena's Corner there, and then 
by duration. So I have the duration for five, and then I can go here and switch, check a hotkey. So for this one, we'll go ahead and say I'll do, um, uh, let's just do shift control eight. So if I do shift control eight, then that's going to show up for Cena's corner. If I do shift control one, then, then that's gonna show up, which we'll show that doing the, the broadcast here. Timers, I can put up a timer up in here. So if I, like YouTube only allows 15 minutes, I can set this for a 15 minute duration. And then as I'm coming close to that, it will give me a countdown that I'm nearing my end. Enable recording, I have a five second countdown. So it'll give me five seconds before I start actually shooting. Hot keys, again, um, Control plus all R, all of these are your hotkeys to control certain things. So start, start, uh, start fixed area, start full screen, stop capturing, uh, pause capturing, all of that you can do hotkeys for. Your media library is where all of your Screenium screencasts is going to go. They are all kept within the application. So you don't have to worry about setting a certain spot or a certain folder for it all to go into it does that for you at the very bottom if you look it says that my library path if you can see that right here is users the mac movies screenium so that's where it's going to automatically put that stuff in there so let's actually try to uh, capture something so we'll go full screen and give me the five second countdown and then it's going to go ahead and start capturing so now everything that i do at this point is going to pick up so I'll, like i'll show you my whole entire doc down here We'll go ahead and go back up to um, my browser. Um, I can actually, let's just do a new tab and it'll open that up. So if I really wanted to do that, we'll go to my web page and have that just come up and display. If I can actually type in my own web page correctly, let's try it again. So everything that I do, even the mistake, you see that right here um, on Screenium. So it's showing you that it's perfect for all kinds of screencasting. Okay, then I'll go back to that. So now let's take a look what happened. Now, of course, you have the hotkeys. So um, again, if you don't remember what the hotkey is to be able to, to stop it, you can just come down here at the bottom and you can see it right there and then you can right click on that you can go to capture and then you can go to start a pause um so let's go ahead and we'll as you can see right here at the bottom too i'm showing you there there is my screenium software at the very bottom that i just did with the hot t which is control shift one and then control shift eight brings up cena's corner right here in the bottom now, this is movable so i could have moved that end of the program before I started and I didn't do that okay so that you can make it bigger as you want you can put it in the middle of the screen whatever you want to do with that so we'll go ahead and we'll stop the capture and it's going to tell you to please wait while Screenium is doing that now what you have is you actually have the movie file here now the one thing about Screenium is it will keep all of your Screenium screencasts in this media area however that's it so if you're looking to be able to edit that here or whatever you cannot do that you'd have to put this through like iMovie or some other type of um video editing software to be able to edit that as you can tell right here as well it does give you all of the dement all of the things you need to know about that screencast it tells you the decoder it tells you your pixel rates uh as far as um what, what your um resolutions and stuff is uh, that you have left right stereo for Apple lostness the file size the duration and how many tracks because okay, so all that's kept there If I want to go ahead I just double click on that and what it's going to do is it's going to open up iMovie I'm sorry not iMovie QuickTime And in QuickTime if I can't play we're we'll turning this one down here It's going to Actually come up and show you everything that I was doing throughout the screencast So you can see my mouse is moving and see it just said left over there because I actually clicked on my left button um, and then if you look it turns blue wherever my mouse is at okay so this is what I was telling you guys before so and then it lets you know what button that I click because that's what I have on there so it has blue and then it goes to it says left or right so you know what button that I hit that necessarily isn't something you need to have on um, I just thought it was kind of cool to show you guys that that's how all that works out okay so 
that's basically it for the Screenium screencast. As you can see, it captures everything that you need to have right here on the screen. You can do anything you need to do, whether it's websites, whether it's video directly from your desktop or whatever. And you do have to spit that out directly into um, an export. So it's going to come in at a .mov file. If you want to do anything else with that, you're going to have to export that out. Okay, so here again at the end, I'm going through my doc and showing you that. And pretty soon, uh, we skip through here a little bit. You see where I popped up the synonymsoftware.com um, website, and uh, also where I picked up Cena's Corner. Okay, so you guys can see that the text actually worked. All right, now to export that, you would just click export, and it would give you, and you would have to go through and set all your settings the way that you wanted, of course. This is exporting out to QuickTime as well. So just like you normally would with any other, you would go through and set what your frame rate is, if you want the best, higher, medium quality, whatever the quality is, and then you would just click OK to export that. All right. So again, uh, basically, again, that's Screenium. If you need just a software to do screen captures, no bells, no whistles, you just need to capture a screen and get that out there to YouTube or to whoever else, this is going to be the perfect solution for you. Um, again, you do you have the movie there? Just export that and go ahead and upload that to YouTube like you would any other movie. For what this does, you cannot beat the price at $30 or $29 is what it's going to cost you for Screenium. Again, you cannot edit within Screenium. Uh, all editing will have to be done in a separate standalone um, movie editor, but... If you just need to do screen capturing, I think that, uh, that Screenium by Cineum would be the best choice for you. Once again, Screenium is cost $30. You can go right here to their web address or to their website at CineumSoftware.com and you can pick that up or you can go right to the Mac Store now and you can purchase it directly from the Mac Store for $29. I want to thank CNEM Software for allowing me to review this product for you guys. Hope you guys found this uh, helpful. And for those who want to do screencasts inexpensively, I hope this helped out. You know how to reach me, Cena at CenasCorner.com is my um, email address, CenasCorner.com, my website. Also, you can find me on Twitter at Cena5401. So that's it, guys. Until next time, peace, love, keep rocking out, and we're going to catch you guys in the next review.